while he loves him, which means that if he doesn't give him provisions, if he does not give him what he wants from this life, this does not mean that Allah does not love him. On the contrary, it means that Allah the Almighty loves him. And this is obvious. If you look at the Prophet and the servants of Allah the Almighty, you would find that Allah Azza wa Jal protected them from falling into the lust and desires of this dunya. And He protected them from being polluted by its temptations so that their hearts would not be connected to the dunya and they would not love staying in this dunya. And this is not an indication at all that whenever Allah the Almighty loves an individual he would make him rich and whenever he does not live a love an individual he would make him poor it is not an indication at all because it is not an indication of Allah's love and hatred to an individual to make him rich or poor what is meant is that Allah protects him from being connected to this dunya and Allah diverts his heart from loving this world and from being occupied by this world and you can take as an example the case of a person who buys a Ferrari for example for hundreds of thousands of euros or dollars and he pays it without even blinking but when he is asked to donate money for the cause of Allah he pays a hundred euros or 50 euros while his heart is being ripped apart subhanallah this is an indication that this person is not loved by Allah because there were lots of rich companions of the Prophet however the dunya and the love of this life was not in their hearts it was in their hands and that is why whenever they were requested to spend they would give without any account they would give generously because the dunya was in their hands they throw it right left and center and without having any hesitation unlike those who are connected to this life among the signs that Allah loves an individual is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves an individual he would introduce to him the characteristic of rifq and a rifq is translated into gentleness and also can be translated into kindness or an amount of tolerance the opposite of violence so the Prophet tells us السلام, if Allah loves a household, if Allah loves a family, He would introduce to them kindness. So this is a, a clear indication. When you see a man being kind, tolerant, lean with all the people, and especially with his wife and kids and family. If you find someone like this, then you should know that this is a sign of Allah's love to him. So many times we hear people being abusive, being insultive. They insult their wives and they do this deliberately in front of their children. And some of them, they do this in front of their wives' families just to humiliate them and insult them. And by Allah, this is a sign that this person is not loved by Allah the Almighty because he did not introduce kindness and gentleness into his heart. You should always respect your wife. You should always praise your wife, especially in front of her family. Even if you're fighting, even if you have disputes, whenever you meet your family with your wife, you always say, MashaAllah, my wife was this and was that. And you make her family, you make her parents, you make her siblings feel proud that they've entrusted you with their 
uh, uh, flesh and blood and that you're taking very good care of her. Among the signs that Allah loves an individual is that you find people respecting and loving this individual as well. The Prophet Wasallam said that whenever Allah Azza wa Jalla loves one of his servants, he calls the Archangel Jibreel, peace be upon him, and he says that I love this servant of mine. So Jibreel, you too love him. So Jibreel loves him. And then he calls in the heavens and he says that Allah the Almighty loves his servant so and so, you must love him as well. So all the angels, all the inhabitants of the heavens love this individual. The Prophet says that is and then acceptance is laid for him on earth. What is the meaning of acceptance? is laid for him on earth, meaning that you would find people liking this guy, loving this guy, respecting this guy or this woman because of the acceptance that Allah has placed for them on earth. And do not be fooled or confused because what counts is the love and respect of the people of religion of the righteous and pious people. These people, their love is an indication that Allah loves this individual. Why do we say this? Well, it's very simple. Because if you nowadays look at someone who is sinful and a caller for innovation, for example, if you see one of them actors or actresses or a singer or an entertainer, all of these people are sinful, yet you find millions of people love them and call their names in respect and in devotion and in love as well. Does this mean that Allah has placed, has, has laid down acceptance for him on earth? No, because their love and devotion, their love and respect does not count. What counts is the love of the high and, 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 and righteous people. Among, there are two or three more, but I don't want to uh, consume all the time mentioning them, so we may, inshallah, uh, postpone that to uh, next Sunday, and we will take whatever questions you have in the remaining time, uh, and Allah doesn't know this.